It's the Cabaretta. I'd say a year and a half. What is this? She said, I see you every day. The uncut version. And I say, I'd like to keep it that way. Please put down the knife. So I have this handy dandy bag. Sainsbury's. <laughs> Found a packet of tissues. Very useful. So that we can cry about how we organized to go to the Beauty and the Beast play in Sydney about six months ago. And then we didn't know we had to, to, to move the house. So it's all very stressful, you know, that kind of thing. But check out my new watch band. Very nice. Do you know where I got it from? <laughs> eBay. Nine dollars. Nine dollars Australian. I don't know what this is, but it's covered in hair and that's gross. I really probably should vacuum in here, but that sucks. And one of these, ew, look at that. That's gross. Just throw it in the back. Pencil sharpener? Definitely should throw this away because we can't leaf it in the car. <laughs> A pencil covered in chocolate and hair. Ew. One thing about cleaning out your car, it's very warm in here. Ew, something squishy. Oh, it's okay. It's a tiny dragon. Be nice if I found $25,000 worth of gold bullion. Beautiful rubbish. Ten years of children. When you stick your hand underneath a car seat and you feel things like this. <laughs> what is this? Ah. Huh. McDonald's fry. I'd say a year and a half. Okay, now I've got to move the chair forward. Excuse my butt. That's the wrong lever. Unlike Kronk, you have to make sure you pull the right lever. Huh, I found some cards from 1993, which is funny because this car was made in 2011 or something. <laughs> you can tell you're cleaning out the car well when you hear that noise. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm voting yes. And I did. The rest of Australia didn't. You find strange things that you don't know what they are, but also you find things that are different textures and feelings and smells and tastes and touches. I don't know what it is. Look at it. Ah, I found a peanut M&M. You know how you can tell there's a peanut M&M? Because you can see the peanut inside. There's enough calories in this car to make a fantastic soup for a family of four for a couple of months. I just want to give you a quick taste. Not of the, the calories. Now, excuse me, can you just ignore my very sexy legs? Thank you very much. But look what we're dealing with here. If you have a look underneath here, you can see that there's this secret compartment. Dun, dun, dun. But look, there's more rubbish under there. Wow. <laughs> Turns out if you use a light, you can see a lot better. Maybe I'll be able to find that $300,000 cash that I lost. Just a wad full of $100 bills. <laughs> Yes, my gas bill, my electricity bill. <laughs> oh, I did find also, look, an envelope of awesome exclusive pen brought to you by www.adelblas.com. Buy now for only $500 because I don't know if we have any. We can get some more printed. It's fine. If you want one, just let me know. One good thing about having a YouTube channel that your wife doesn't watch is that she can't get you in trouble for showing how disgusting it is under this seat because she will never see this. Because she said, I see you every day. The uncut version. And I say, I'd like to keep it that way. Please put down the knife. But do you know what really sucks is, well, when you have dust all over your hand and then you wipe the sweat off your nice big giant bald head and it covers your head in, in disgusting dirt from the floor of the car. Do you know what else sucks? Vacuuming. I always feel like that I'm changing a gun, like changing parts on a gun. Yeah! Pew pew! Oh. Okay, the airways are blocked. I have to put my glasses inside. I don't have any glasses. I gave it a little resuscitation and now he's back in action. One handy little tip is if you're giving your vacuum cleaner mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, make sure you don't hold the trigger down. That's really loud in my ear. <laughs> so I found this. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a, a gas connector or something. What is it? Is it from the car? It looks important. Is this the carburetor? <gasps> it's the carburetor. I better leave it in the glove box so that we can find out what it is later when the car breaks down. There you have it. A job well. <laughs> I need to go have a nap or go to the gym or do both of those things at the same time or eat some food. I'm not quite sure. One of the other or 10 or do it all at the same time and possibly wash my head. Oh, mm, delish. <laughs> Thank you so much for breathing. I appreciate you. Any progress is progress. And also I've got to, got to have a few fries, which is great. You know what they say? We can't be curious and awesome. No, don't say that. They say, Simon, you really need to get some sleep.